Domains and subdomains are two essential concepts for anyone who wants to create or manage a website. But what do they mean, and how do they work? In this video, we'll explain everything you need to know in a clear and concise way. What is a domain? A domain is a unique web address that identifies a website. It is used to access a website by typing the domain name into a web browser. For example, the domain name of this website is facebook.com. What is a subdomain? A subdomain is a smaller part of a larger domain. It is created to organize or categorize the main website into smaller, more specific sections. A subdomain is created by adding a prefix to the main domain name. For example, the subdomain support.facebook.com could be used to host a support forum for the main website at facebook.com. Domain versus subdomain. So, what's the difference between a domain and a subdomain? A domain is the main address of a website, while a subdomain is a specific section of the main website that has its own unique address. Domains are purchased from domain registrars, while subdomains are created by the owner of the main domain. Websites can only have one domain, but they can have multiple subdomains. Why use subdomains? There are many reasons why companies and individuals use subdomains. Here are a few examples. To organize their website into different sections such as a blog, a store, or a support forum. To target different audiences. For example, a company might have a subdomain for each country it serves. To experiment with different types of content or services without affecting their main website. SEO. It is important to note that search engines treat domains and subdomains as separate entities. This means that a subdomain will have its own unique ranking in search results. Best domain registrars in the world. Here are some of the best domain registrars in the world, based on their pricing, features, and customer support. Web.com, Domain.com, Name.com, Scala Hosting, Namecheap Dynadot, and Network Solutions. If you're ready to buy your own domain, check out our recommended domain registrars in the video description. So there you have it. A basic overview of domains and subdomains. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.